are they now? Horses that thrilled us over the years at Emerald Downs dot the landscape all around Washington State, thriving in varied second careers. Seemingly, the motto of Washington bred Norm's nephew is, keep me moving. He was successful and popular as a racehorse, and he's loving life in a second career. He earned a nickname of Styx before he even came to the track. When he was little, he, out in the pasture, he used to pick up sticks and throw them. And they started calling him Styx because he'd run around looking for sticks to pick up and toss around the pasture. Norm's nephew grew up at Emerald Downs, often competing with another distinguished foal of 2002, Wasserman. Owner-trainer Jim Orr also galloped Norm's nephew. The first time I worked him, it made the hair stand up on the back of my neck, and I worked him myself, and I thought, yeah, this horse can run. As a three-year-old in 2005, Norm was outstanding and had a fan base. He broke his maiden early in the meeting, came right back with an allowance score, and then his first stakes try. Norm's nephew by three lengths to Marsh Creek. Ida Better Buck is running on fairly, but Norm's nephew has no peer at all today. It is Norm's nephew four in front, and it is a stakes victory and a continued success to Norm's nephew. Wins it easily by five lengths. That summer, he was the best local three-year-old. His following grew with Orr's wife, Leona, a mutual clerk, to her co-workers and many more around the track. It doesn't look like there's anybody on the fifth floor working because all the mutual clerks were down in the winter circle with us. So um, he, he was a, just a fun, fun horse to run and watch him run. As the Emerald Derby approached, he would be one of the favorites. Norm's nephew trying to hold on. Back in the center, Alexander's run coming fast with timeless passion. Alexander's run on the outside gradually gets the lead, and he's too good for them. Alexander's run goes on to win. Norm's nephew second. He ran every time he ran, he ran well. He tried every time. You could not fault him for not being right there doing the best he could possibly do. And yeah, it's disappointing when you run second, but gee, how many horses run second in the Derby anyway? Yeah. You know, I mean, that's, that's a pretty good accomplishment. So, um, you know, there's only one winner and everybody else comes behind so being second wasn't all bad. Norm's nephew earned the title of Washington champion three-year-old of 2005. His solid career continued with two appearances in the mile, a Muckleshoot Tribal Classic victory and two wins in California before retirement from racing in 2009. The Oars wanted him to remain active but were particular in finding a new home. And it took a long time to find the right person to take him, and uh, Marianne is that right person. She's done so good with him. She's really, and he loves her, she loves him. I had less tact for 20 horses than she's got for one. <laughs> she buys that horse everything. <laughs> Marianne is Marianne Meeker, a semi-retired lawyer who was around horses in an earlier life. She was ready to get a horse and ride again, and Norm's nephew was more than ready to oblige. He was overwhelming to me, but I like them big and flashy, you know, I always have, because those are the horses I grew up riding. And so, me and, me and Styx just sort of, we kind of liked each other from the day, from day one. The first few times were okay, because I didn't let him do much, and I, and, and I was looking for a trainer. I mean, I knew he was too much horse for me. So I basically, the first year or so, basically trail rode, and got him, you know, just sort of relaxed, and back to being a horse, didn't try to do much of anything. Started taking lessons again myself, so I could, you know, find my seat and my center of balance and all that, uh, but way, way beyond, this horse was way beyond anything I could do. So it was, it, it was tough, and about six months in, let's see, he came to me like in the early spring, so the weather still wasn't great, and then towards the end of the summer, he uh, put me on the ground one time, and Jim, Jim grounded me until I, uh, you know, got going in lessons and got, you know, and that's how I met John, actually. Enter John, one John Watson, who operates John T. Farm in Enumclaw, a definite horse whisperer. He's teaching Meeker and Sticks together. The progress is slow, um, only because I like to go slowly. Uh, taking time with a somewhat green rider and a horse that's new and excitable. I mean, the horse loves to do these things. And uh, so it's, it's step by step, and I guess the goals would be to be able to jump around over a low course, go out on the outside course and jump some low fences and do some uh, lower level dressage. 
Meeker is very happy with her teachers, both human and horse. She goes wherever Norm's nephew takes her. He's retired and he gets to do what he likes. And so I figured, well, what if he likes a trail ride, that's what we'll do. If he likes dressage, we'll do that. If he likes jumping, we'll do that. But we'll, it's, it's gonna be what works for him and what, what keeps him healthy over his lifetime. Oh, and me too. <laughs> Everybody's happy in this group. But we have visitation rights, so we can see him whenever we want to see him. And that's part of the deal. He can't have the horse unless we can come visit. Um, but that's, that's the good part about it, is if you find the right person for the horse, it's, it's, it's a good thing. Even though you miss them and you know, they're not, you're not there every day with them, you know they're in good hands. And uh, he certainly is in good hands. And he's, if you saw him today, he's doing good. He, he looks good and he's happy. And that's, that's what it's all about.